Hello my friends, I will here give you a short tutorial uh, about some connection I have noticed now with the Monsertronic, Dustronic, Alcatronic and uh, a chemical connection between nitrification and the ratio consumption between calcium and carbonates. Uh, because uh, the opportunity now for me is to measure calcium several times a day with the Monsertronic and I can also have the Monsertronic to adjust the calcium channel in the Dustronic and therefore I can see the connections now more clearly. Okay, if, if we have a newly set up marine tank like this one behind me, this is very, it's only four weeks old. The first week we have a lot of <coughs> ammonium producing, you know, and the first step in nitrification is when ammonium is oxidized to nitrite. And when that is happening, a lot of KH is consumed. The nitrification first step is KH consuming step. And what happens then is this one. Here we have the nitrate in the tank and here we have the KH consumption and the, the white one is the calcium consumption. And here's the first maybe one, two weeks in a newly set up tank. We have a high nitrate because a major nitrification cycle. And that's, and that's the reason why we have a high KH consumption as well, but not so much calcium consumption. So the ratio between KH and calcium consumption it's not one to one, which is the basic rule, you know. It's maybe one to 0 0.2 or something like that. So this is the first two week. Now, the nitrification is starting to major and the nitrite is going down, it's descending. And uh, the second step in the nitrification uh, has started. And then we have this scenario. The nitrite is now lower. It has lowered quite much. The cage consumption is now more in relation to one to one to the calcium consumption due to that because now the KH cons consumption is not only due to the nitrification but the KH consumption is now mostly depending on the calcium carbonate formation and therefore the ratio now is more one to one. Now for the four weeks and here we have my tank now I have no nitrate at all so nit nitrification is fully matured and uh, the two step in the nitrification is on full going speed. That means that almost all KH consumption stands for the calcium carbonate formation and therefore now my calcium consumption is the same as my KH consumption. Now the ratio is one to one. So this is the basic rule you know when you do the belling doses and I have my three parts belling. But it's important to just say that in the newly set up tank it is not one-to-one, -one, depending on the high nitrate levels that stands for a lot of the KH consumption. Thank you very much for listening for this little short tutorial. Thank you.